All right, guys, we're going to do Pisces. We're going to get some messages from your future self. So these will be messages from your future self from a year or further. I am getting a lot of downloads just to start off. <clears throat> Pisces, I feel like they're wanting you to not fight any growth. I feel like you're going through a lot of growth, expansion, lessons. And I feel like they're for your best interest and they want you to know that. I also feel like they're wanting you to know that whatever needs you have, not to worry, that all of those will be fulfilled. Okay? So I do want to go ahead and just take a second, guys. If you need anything, check out the description box. The second channel is down there as well. Pisces will be on that channel. Cards that I use, there's all kinds of things down there. This video is sponsored by Keen today, guys. You can find the link in the description or comments and get your first 10 minute reading for only $1.99. This can give you insights and clarity, maybe again from your future self, guys, a personalized reading for you. Relationships, career, you can get so many answers by using that link, okay? Thank you, Keen, for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for giving me these opportunities. All right, so again, now, for some of you, I do see that you could be having a really hard ending or just having a lot of a lot of changes, a lot of challenges, I feel. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo, but, but Pisces, I feel like what the universe is trying to get in your life right now is balance, and they're, they're wanting you to be patient with yourself and with them. It's interesting, and I went to the Four of Swords. So, your future self is giving you permission, Pisces, to rest, to reflect when you need to, to rest when you need to, to take a step back, to really focus on yourself, because I do feel like you're going to continue to get the clarity and the truth that you need, and you're going to continue to heal through this year. Again, to get you to where I feel like you're wanting to go, you're going to have a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, and I do feel like sometimes it's going to be hard, but I feel like when you look back in a year from now, you're going to be like, wow, I'm really fucking proud of myself. Also see that some of you could be moving or getting a new vehicle in four months, something that makes you super, super happy that you've worked a really, really hard for, and also see that you guys could be having some sort of stability um, increase in the next few months as well. What else does Pisces' future self want them to know? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of self-reflection. I just heard putting yourself first. And Pisces, I feel like, again, you're giving yourself permission to decline offers if you don't want to take them. I feel like they're wanting you to really take a step back, especially this year, and get to know yourself more the inner you. Ask yourself questions. Do a lot of self-reflection. Do a lot of growth journaling. Do a lot of journaling. Do a lot of reading. I feel like they're wanting you to take a step back and I feel like the more you invest in yourself, you're going to get opportunities and I feel like you're going to get a significant opportunity after a time of self-reflection. I feel like whatever this opportunity is, is going to bring you a lot of happiness now, for each of you, it's going to be different. I do feel like somebody, it could be a lover or it could be a job, but somebody is going to bring you an offer. I feel like this person's been watching you. They've been reflecting on you. I feel like this person really enjoys you as a person, your style. Again, so you could be getting some huge offer. Yeah, and I have collaboration on the bottom. Now, guys, again, this could be a love offer. After a time of self-reflection and really getting to know yourself, something's going to come in for you. I also feel like this energy here is telling you, Pisces, to be very careful on the offers that you're willing to accept this year. Make sure that you don't just accept anything. Be very picky on your energy. Because I do feel like, again, you're going to get some snakes this year. Friends, lovers, jobs. I just heard investments. So there could be someone wanting you to invest in something or something of that sort. 
But as long as you're willing to take a step back and reflect, I feel like the universe is willing to give you the gasoline to really ignite that lantern for you to be able to see everything that you need to see. Yeah, two of wands. Again, <clears throat> so there could definitely be something here, Pisces, where there's going to be an energy that you're going to have to choose a path, make a choice. And again, I feel like as long as you're willing to remain strong and within your own power, I feel like it's going to help you. I really do. What, what other messages do we have from Pisces' future self? Pisces, I have this song singing in my head. I don't love you like I used to. This gets better every time you. So, it's interesting because that's the only part that I heard. And the first thing I thought was that there could be somebody coming back this year where you're going to realize that you don't love them or feel for them the way that you used to. This, again, could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. It could be someone that's going to come in after a time of holding back. Or someone who's held back something from you, but they're they're ready to come in and have a conversation with you. They're wanting some sort of new beginning. This person is now in an energy of holding on to you. But again, I'm getting that I don't love you like I used to. It's like I, that ship has sailed. Yeah, with death, change and transformation. The, the connection, this has changed and transformed. Interesting. This person's very conflicted, though. If this is a lover, they still have a lot of passion for you, and they want to create something with you, whether this be babies, whether this just be passionate lovemaking, whether this just be, like, literally painting. I mean, for each of you, it's going to be something different. <clears throat> but there's a reason your future self is bringing this up, and I feel like they're wanting you to be careful or want you to, again, I feel like that's where this self-reflection comes in and why your future self is bringing this up. Because I feel like the more you get to know yourself, Pisces, and you really do that journaling and ask yourself, what am I looking for? What are non-negotiables for me? What am I willing to sacrifice? What do I see for my future? If I had, <clears throat> excuse me, so Pisces, you could definitely be needing this year to use your throat chakra. Speak up. Speak up for the things that you're wanting. But I feel like it's an energy. If I had no limitations for me or anyone else, what would I ask for? And they're wanting you to write all that down. And Pisces, I feel like once you really get to know yourself on the level through that self-reflection, you're going to realize that some of the people that you've held on to, whether it be friendships, again, careers, relationships, lovers, that there's something missing, that there's something lacking. And again, I feel like there could be somebody coming back heavy loving energy, lover energy, where you're going to realize that they're holding on to you because the passion was intense. That's what they miss. That's what they want. They're wanting a new beginning with you. But there's been something here where this has changed and transformed. And I feel like you don't love them like you used to. The feelings aren't there. The spark ain't there. It's like, I don't know if your focus has just completely changed. If you're just not in that energy, if maybe... When you were with this lover, you were in the energy of kind of dating and trying to figure out life, but they're wanting you to know that they're coming in. They are in an energy willing to fight for you, Pisces, but I feel like they're going to have to see some sort of interest from you for them to fight for you. So again, message from your future self. I feel like they're just wanting you to be careful with this person. Just be careful. <clears throat> Could definitely be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus Aries. This person's keeping major tabs on you right now if you're not talking to them. And again, they have a lot of passion for you. So a lot of passion. They're wanting a new beginning. They want a new passionate beginning. But maybe that's all this person wants. Or maybe this person, although I do see some sort of emotional fulfillment between you guys, I feel like you could be scared with you under the deck <clears throat> that this person could want to come in and just have fun. I feel like you, you're you scared that you could be missing something. You could be missing something with you showing up with the moon. Strong energy of this being someone from your past. Interesting. Um, be careful of this person wanting to come out, come and like have drinks and things like that. I feel like this is the kind of person that would want to go have drinks, have fun. We kind of go home together and then the next thing you know, you wake up and you're like, oh shit, <laughs> what did we do? Why are we in the bed together? what happened. I am picking up a little bit of that energy as well. Okay. What else for 
Pisces and their future self. I also see Pisces that there's an energy here where I feel like the universe is wanting you to, again, give yourself that self-care, that self-love, and give yourself permission to take a vacation. It could be time for you to really start planning a vacation. <laughs> your future self is saying, hey, listen, you're working your butt off, okay? So keep an open mind. Maybe keep an open mind where you're wanting to go vacation. Again, keep an open mind for what could be happening this year because I did see a lot of growth and expansion. I see you staying in that empress energy. You're going to be attracting. You're going to be getting a lot of abundance. You're going to be staying very stable and grounded, but I do feel like there is going to be some challenges. I do feel like there's going to be times where there's going to be hard endings and you're going to be like, what, what am I supposed to be learning from this? I just seen the five of cups. So there is going to be an energy here where you're going to be very sad and disappointed. I feel like Pisces, all of 2022, they're wanting you to just flow, try to enjoy the moment that you're in, and just show yourself self-love. That, that needs to be your focus of 2022. Yeah, you're going through some spiritual growth. Again, I'm seeing a lot of spiritual growth in 2022. Having to release things that no longer serve you and being able to recognize, hey, is this a pattern or is this something that does serve me? Am I keeping something in my environment that's toxic that I no longer need? And I feel like for some of you, it could be this person. Conflict in your environment. Interesting. There could be unexpected loss on your way. Again, that was that sadness and disappointment. I am picking up for some of you, you could end up losing someone or something unexpectedly. I am going to go ahead and say that. I'm going to throw that out here. Please do not freak out. I don't mean it. I mean, this could be like a goldfish. I do see as well that your future self is wanting you to think through. Dealing with this person. Because I do feel like once you get entangled in their energy, it's hard to get out of. And I also see that this is just a simple message from your future self. That you need to be a little more strategic in the way that you're approaching this year when it comes to your work, your money. Continue to put in the effort. You're going to see amazing rewards. But be, again, a little more strategic in what you're doing, what you're investing in. For some of you, again, it could be time for you to leave a certain job or career or really buckle down on your time management, get a set schedule, get a planner, something of that sort. Yeah, and I am seeing energy here again where there could definitely be someone around you that has a snake energy. Very interesting. Okay, so let's get a few more tarot. So again, look, this separation will not last. Someone is wearing a mask again. And I feel like that's this person. They're going to want to come in with some sort of truth or clarity. They're still holding on to you. They're hiding something. But someone here could not accept this offer or someone didn't in the past. And I do see someone in the past coming back. And I see strong energy that they're wanting sexual relations I want to make love to you so again I, I can see someone coming in and wanting to get you turnt to have a have fun let's have fun let's have a good night I want to enjoy your energy your company I missed you and then you guys just get a little carried away so I feel like that's just your future self saying be careful although I do feel like this person misses you they miss being around you they want to hold on to you I feel like again you guys could still be on maybe different pages I feel like they're more focused on the celebration aspect, being back together, being back in each other's life. What other messages do we have from Pisces' future self? I definitely feel like Pisces, they're wanting you to focus on your stability, your money, your finances. Don't get too focused on relationships, friendships, or lovers that make you feel stuck or stagnant in your energy. If something feels sneaky or off, it is. It is. And again, I feel like that's what 2022 is going to be for you is that balancing energy. You realizing or recognizing the relationships, connections, jobs, clients, whatever it be for you that no longer serve you. I do see 
the, again, you could have some sort of sleepless night or anxiety about some sort of leap that you're going to take towards work on whether or not it's going to work out for you. Are you going to get what, what you're putting in? But I do see that something's going to turn in your favor fairly, fairly quickly. I'm seeing that it's going to turn in your favor quicker than you think. It's going to be shocking to you. And I see that it's happening in divine timing again. So if this is you guys like changing jobs or starting something new, I feel like it's going to be a lot more successful quicker than you think. So just throwing that out here. So I definitely feel like your future self's wanting you to not let other people, their energy, their connections, what they're holding back from you or what they're willing to give to affect you and what you have going on. Also feel like they're wanting you to be careful. Now some of you guys could have lost someone recently where there's still conflict in your environment. I feel like, again, they're just wanting you to kind of push through it. But I do see that some of you could be losing someone or something in this year. I don't want to get too far into that because I only feel like that's like literally for, I'm literally getting like two to six people. And I feel like for some of you, it would be an animal, like a goldfish or I just seen a cat, something of that sort. I just seen a golden retriever as well. So if someone has a golden retriever that's been sick and you're very worried about it, you could get a mess message of bad news. Interesting. Yeah, but see, this person's going to want to come in. Whoever this person is that's going to want to come in and have this conversation with you, Pisces, there is going to be, again, some confusion, some illusion. <sighs> just be careful with this person coming in and wanting to give you a message of love because they're wanting to, again, have the passion. They're still holding on to you and the things that you can do, boo. Okay, let's get a few more messages from your future self and we're going to wrap this up. What else does Pisces need to know from your future self? Again, I'm seeing a lot of resting. You're very close to achieving a goal, see? You're very close to achieving a goal. And they're wanting you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. So, again, I feel like when I said that, that somebody could be losing someone, I freak some people out. And I feel like if that's your message, guys, you're going to know that that's your message. Because I feel like you kind of, you, you have this inkling feeling. You have this feeling. You have this feeling. But, yeah, I see you working really hard. I see you very close to achieving your goals, the things that you want. And you not letting people get you in a stuck energy. Again, it's like that's what you're learning this year, Pisces. And I feel like your future self is saying, listen, I'm so proud of you. Because you need to quit letting other people influence what you're doing, what you're thinking, what you're investing in. Keep quiet and keep pushing. Your, your hard work, your success is going to show for itself. Don't let other people's comments or thoughts or your relationships 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 get you stuck. Yeah, look, it's time to release negativity. That's what I'm getting. Some of you guys could have to be releasing a Cancer, a Capricorn, or a Scorpio. Please take what resonates. But I do see that there will be some sort of personal issue that you've been dealing with where, again, it could be that conflict, that unexpected loss, where things are going to get a resolution. And I feel like Pisces, there's an energy here as well where you're going to continue to try to look at the bigger picture, try to be very mature in your choices this year. I feel like you're going to look back and be like, damn, I'm really proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself. I feel like you guys are going to have very strong fire energy this year. Take a lot of action. I feel like you're going to listen to your body. I feel like you're going to do a lot of healing. I just had forgive turnover. So you guys could have some sort of forgiveness that you're going to be practicing or some somebody that you're going to need to forgive. It could be a Leo for some of you. But I, I see you lightening up, Pisces, lightening up on yourself, giving yourself a lot more grace, being a lot more compassionate with yourself and not giving your power away to anyone. Focusing on your goals, your dreams, and you're going to start seeing a lot of success in that. Also see, guys, that I feel like your future self is wanting you to meditate a lot. Meditate. Really focus on 
keeping your mind clear so all those downloads can come to you. Because again, like I said in the beginning of this reading, I feel like your spirit guides and your angels are going to try to help you and guide you and give you your answers. But you have to have a clear mind and stay very grounded for that to be able to happen. And medit meditation helps a lot with that. Also see that you could have some sort of conflict that's going to be coming in. Where they're wanting you to keep an open mind. It could be with a Gemini. Not necessarily. And I don't know why they're wanting you to keep an open mind. I, I, I get a little bit of. You're going to feel one way when it happens. But like when you calm down. And a day or two later after you've slept on it. You're going to feel a different way. So again keeping an open mind. A few more messages from Pisces future self. What's a few more things that Pisces future self wish that they could say? You're going to have some sort of message of good news coming in. You need to keep fighting. You need to keep fighting, Pisces. I know sometimes you feel like you're not getting your justice. You feel like people have the upper hand. You feel like you're getting cut down, like the world's against you, like you just don't understand why you can't get a break, but you are going to get your justice. All the good that you do in the world opening a door for people, smiling, helping people, blessing people, all of that's going to come back to you. And I feel like you touch people in a way that you don't even see and you're going to get those blessings back. But they're you need to keep going. You need to keep going. You need to keep fighting because the success, the victory, the happiness that you're wanting is not that far away. It's not that far away. But I do feel like you're very tired. You're very overwhelmed. It's hard not to let other people in your brain, in your mind, in your atmosphere. It's it's hard not to let other people influence you. But I, again, I feel like you're going to look back in a year and be like, wow, I have grown so much. I've let so much go. The things that I would tolerate, I won't. The people that I thought I, I couldn't live without, I obviously can. The, the cycles that I was in, the people I was willing to invest in, I no longer will do that. I'm learning that the only person that I fully, fully have to have nonstop is myself. Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave that here for today. Have a blessed day.